Today, we're going to be talking about weight training for women in menopause. We're going to talk about why it's important, what to do, and the four mistakes that you may be making. Why is strength training so important for women, and especially for women in menopause? When you age, as we age and we go into our 40s and 50s, we start losing muscle. This process happens after the age of 40. So if you're not actively working on building that muscle, then you are definitely losing that muscle. And so what happens is we start to lose that muscle mass and we start to gain more fat. Even though we're eating the same amount of calories, we're still doing the same amount of cardio. This is what happens to the body is it just kind of shifts your body composition. And you know it's like you start to see lumps and bumps on your body that didn't used to be there before. And that's because you are losing that muscle mass. And it's really important to maintain that at least, but um, also to actively build it. So um, we want to make sure that we are strength training, especially as we are moving through our 40s, 50s and 60s. And so what, what do you what do you need to do? You know, if you're brand new to weight training, then I would definitely start with three days a week of like a full body program. I do have a video and I will link that that shows a three body, three day full body workout and a four day like upper lower split. And that can get you started on weight training. So I definitely recommend three to five times a week. If you're more advanced, then you can do five times a week. And the, the one, the program that's going to be the most effective is the one that you can stick to. So if you only have three days a week, then that that's what it's going to be, right? That will be the most effective because you're going to be able to stick to it. And so for me, I recommend for my clients anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes. I am a firm believer that nothing good happens after 45 minutes. If you're working out appropriately hard enough, that should be plenty of stimulus for your muscle to get the effects that you're looking for. Now, you're not going to get huge by lifting weights, right? I've been lifting weights for, for quite a few years now, and I have yet to get, get huge by lifting weights. Um, for the most part, most women aren't even eating enough calories or protein to actually build that muscle. And so it, it takes time to actually put muscle on your body, but it's never too late and you will get newbie gains, I promise. So um, there's there are four common mistakes that I see that women are making when they are strength training. And this, the first one is going to be that they just aren't lifting heavy enough. You know, they're gravitating towards those 10 pound dumbbells and they're staying with the same weight each and every time, not switching it up. And so really you need to push yourself. I want you to lift as heavily heavily as you can safely. You know, I definitely want to make sure that you have good form, but you know, if you're always gravitating towards that 10 pound dumbbell, then you're not going to be able to progress. So make sure that you keep adding weight as you get stronger, right? We, we want to keep progressing those workouts. So make sure that you are working out hard enough. The second mistake that I see is not lifting with intention or just going through the motions, right? You're like, oh, here, dumbbell curl. Okay, right? And you're talking to your friend or you're really just not paying attention to what you're doing. You're kind of just mindlessly going through it just to check off the box and saying, hey, I did it. That is not going to be very effective to building muscle. So I this is just easy to, to show, right? So with a, with a bicep curl, we want to make sure that we are connecting the mind to that, to that muscle and work working it out to the full extent. So this is going to take intention. I want you to lift with intention. Know what, uh, what is the muscle that we're trying to work here and make sure that you are actually feeling it. A good thing to do, especially when you're starting is to put your finger on there and then feel it contract. And that way, you know what it looks like. You know, if you only go halfway, you're not going to get that full contraction and you'll be able to feel that with your fingers. So make sure that you are lifting with intention. The second, um, I should say the third thing that I see uh, is super common is, is women are doing cardio in between their sets, right? They're doing like doing, a, you know, doing the bicep curl or whatever. And then they're doing like jumping jacks or something like that. Um, not resting during the workout. So you want to make sure that you are taking a full either one minute or two minute rest, depending on the movement. Now, if you're doing something heavy, like, like a, um, 
like a, a chest press, then you want to make sure that you're resting two minutes or squats or deadlifts, or anything like that. You want to make sure you're resting a full two minutes in between those sets, not doing jumping jacks or, you know, doing anything crazy, just actually sit and rest. I know for me, I, I am full of energy. When I go to the gym, I have plenty of carbs on, bo on board. So I will do a little dancing in between my sets, you know, but, um, or my leg is like always going up and down, right? Cause I have all that energy. Uh, that is completely different right? You're still resting that body part while you're getting ready for that next set. So make sure that you are resting in between sets and not doing any of the, you know, any cardio in between those sets. You can do um, cardio after your workout. I highly recommend that you do weight training first. And then if you are planning on doing any cardio, do that after. I do not recommend cardio for my clients. I recommend definitely daily steps, getting outside, being active, but not actively doing cardio um, for, you know, to, to get any body goals. Cardio is not going to help you build muscle. And the last thing that I see, um, the last mistake that I see women making is they are changing up their workouts all the time, right? You're following this, like, this one on Instagram and you're doing this thing over here and oh my god that looks awesome like i want to do that right and so you're just throwing too much right you're you're giving your body way too much to do and not again here it is with intention if you have a program that is structured then you stick with that program that's what i do for my clients we have either four days I'm sorry, four weeks or five weeks of doing the same exercises each week. And then that's how you can see if you are getting stronger. So week one, we start out like, with um, three reps in reserve. That means that you'll be able to do three more, um, three more reps of that exercise. But by the end of that program, I want them to drop down their reps in reserve so that they can only get in like one rep. And so that means that you're going to be having to lift more weight. And so here's how you make that progression through the workouts, and then you're getting stronger. So that's what we're measuring is we want to make sure that we're actually getting stronger with the workouts, because that is the whole point, right? We want to build the muscle, we want to get stronger. And that's going to help speed up your metabolism, it's going to help make those body composition changes. When you're always changing up your workout, you don't have anything to measure. Like how, how are we improving? What are we improving? You can't, you can't really have a beat on that because you're always doing something different. So I highly recommend that you follow a solid workout program and just stick to that for anywhere from four to six weeks and then change it up. All right. You don't want to do the same exercises over and over either. Right. So have one, have you know one program and then you go change it up for the next for the next month so um like I said, I will link the video to a three-day and a four-day uh, workout program that, that I have done. Um, I hope this helps. Please subscribe and share this with a friend if you found this help 